Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 37, and this is war number 10. And we're going up against an alliance, oh boy. All right, um, Sinanomate? It's either Sinanomine or Sinanomini? Sinanomini? Hmm. Okay, probably butchered it. Uh, let's see who they've banned. Oh, Kingpin, Hercules, and Doom. Okay. Now, my guys have already gotten in here and cleared quite a bit already. We've been moving a little bit quickly. All right, so let's see. We're going to, yeah, so Namor. Uh, oh, I always hate fighting him. Now, the global is different. Unsteady ground. Okay. Um, but we're going to try it with Namor. They've already cleared the middle and that mini. So now I got a Nimrod on this node. Interesting. So that's Nebula. Let's see. I could do this one with uh, Nebula as well, although it's always dangerous because she can catch you real quick. And then Omega Sentinel, also uh, Nebula. Huh. Okay. Well, let me think. Now, I could bring in a third just in case for that um, wasp, in case she acts crazy, you know, bring in Nick Fury along with Nebula and uh, Namor. And I haven't heard them say anything that they need help on Mini Boss Island, so I think that's what I'll do. Just because Nick Fury makes me feel safe. All right. Yeah. <laughs> now, he could also do, if he's still, you know, got his uh, life model decoy, if need be, he could nuke down uh, that void and possibly, uh, hmm, yeah, might be able to do both of those if necessary. All right, that's who we're going to bring in. Uh, Nick Fury, Nebula, and Namor. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so I'm going in here without Claire. Left Claire um, to just chill at the house for a little bit. We brought in Nick Fury instead, along with Namor and Nebula. All right, so this first fight is going to be against Mole Man. Now, Mole Man shrugs off a lot of stuff. He can be very annoying. And Namor, of course, has a little bleed that he puts on. But on this path, that is not Namor's primary source of damage. So it doesn't matter that uh, Mole Man shrugs stuff off because he's taking burst damage. Like I'm getting whooped up on right there. Um, but he's taking burst damage reflected back to him. So he can't shrug that off. So that's why you see his health just getting chewed up. And if he had put any kind of nasty bleeds on me or anything like that, as long as I was aggressive, he'd be getting it back. So you can see he's still purifying stuff, but it's not going to help him. Anymore. You know, Namor is really made for this path. You know, they, they don't, it doesn't matter. They could be bleed immune, poison immune, all that good stuff. He's going to just tear him up with that reflective damage. Who would have thought that I'd be using Namor in war? But this path, the first time I did this path, I tried using Claire. And she got wrecked. I mean, bad. I was like, whoa, whoa, what just happened? Because I hadn't read the nodes. And I thought it was the old nodes where Claire could do that path easily and a path 
uh, three in section two, but not with this. So I had to ask uh, my alliance, hey, who's good for this path? And uh, they gave me a couple of options, but the one that I liked the most was Namor because I already had a rank three SIG 200 Namor. So I was like, oh, y'all had me at Namor. I know what I'm gonna do. And the first time I went in with Namor, I was like, oh yeah, this is, this is the play. This is what I gotta use. So as you can see here, Warlock, is still getting chewed up and he was a little passive right there now that's one thing you don't want you don't want the ai to be passive because when the ai is passive you're taking damage whatever damage you have on you and it's really annoying it's very very annoying especially when you're playing uh namor because like if they just hit you and you maybe you got some bleeds or shocks or something like that and then they just dash back and hold block if you attack them into their block, you'll be all right. But much better to actually be hitting them so you can do a nice, good five-hit combo and maybe last out the damage. All right, so you see here, I got shock on me, but it's a little weak shock, you know. Health, not looking the best, but we got it done. I really don't like fighting Warlock. He is a, a very annoying... And I know they put him on that path for that very reason. You know, usually Warlock is a great option for Warlock. But on that path, I was not too sure. All right, so uh, Alliance Mates already cleared everything up here. The mini done with full attack bonus, I noticed. So now we got Nimrod. And like I told you guys, if you've been watching... Nebula is a great counter for Nimrod. She just eats him alive. Um, I'm trying to think. So far, at least on the left-hand side, when I faced Nimrod, Nimrod uh, Nebula has always taken him out, whichever node. If he's on that um, middle node mini, she takes him out. Uh, now... That would be interesting with this new node, with the vigorous assault and everything. Um, she she could do it, but she probably would not be the best for it, especially given my playstyle. Um, but I think she could still take him out. I would just have to be very careful and play. I wouldn't want to, really. Um, but on any of the other nodes, yeah, he. I got hit there. That I don't know why, but that special two sometimes catches me. It's because, I think, it's because of the timing. It's like, it's like a slow ball. You know, it's like when I see it, I want to dash. Uh, similar to like a Psycho Man's. But you can't do that. You have to wait. So he'll like fire it off and you're like, okay, dash. Wait, it's not here yet. Okay, we got to wait for it. Okay, now, you know. So it could be a little annoying. But as you see, our, our streak continues. Nebula undefeated against uh, Nimrod, I believe. Um, or at least I can't remember the last time uh, she lost to Nimrod. Maybe the first time I brought her out or something like that. All right, so now... We've got Nick Fury, and I told you I want I wanted to use Nick Fury against uh, uh, Wasp here. She doesn't have a lot of health, and just one good combo really eats her life away. And as you can see here, she got nothing. He wasn't even close to his real life. You know, just just nasty. Nick Fury's just a beast. All right, now, this mini. We've got Omega Sentinel. Now, she's not Nimrod. And I've learned a lot more about her since the first time I got wrecked by her in war. Um, her auto block is crazy. 
And if you don't have a good counter for that, you're going to have a hard time. So she really needs a, you know, a good counter. And Nebula, the thing with Nebula and the style that I use when I'm playing Nebula is that I won't trigger the auto block. So I believe there's two reasons for that. One, I build up Nebula's shock charges, and I believe at eight, she shuts down Omega Sentinel, I think. But also, I'm not hitting Omega Sentinel, so she's not building up armors. And she needs, I believe, five armors when she's defending to auto block. So, like, at this point, I don't think she can uh, auto-block. But, again, I'm not hitting her. Now, what happened right there, I don't know. Um, it just looked like I stopped blocking. But it's all good. All right, now you see I'm hitting her, but she's not getting any armor-ups. So I believe she shut down. So there I put the shock on her. Boom, 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 done, fight over. Very nice, not a clean, perfect fight um, since I did get hit, but we were able to take her down. But yes, I believe she, uh, Nebula shuts down uh, Omega Sentinel at like eight charges. So she's really good uh, for that encounter. All right, we'll be back in a little bit and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war after our spanking uh, by our sister alliance. We actually got a win here. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. If you liked it, feel free to hit that like button. Uh, let me know what you thought about the fighting, what you thought about the war itself, all that good stuff. If you learned anything, let me know. Or if you have any advice for me, definitely leave a comment. That's how I learn. All right. So take care. And you all have a blessed day.